Hey, it's Naveen with your Bad Girls Club 2 recap. Um, Star Trek Fantasy, Andrea? What the fuck is that? Save who? Is this bitch real? Is this like, is this what happens to you when you make yourself throw up, you become delusional and like imagine shit in your head? Ew, I have no words. I don't even know what the fuck to say about that. The reason that Cordelia would say that Josh was cheating on Andrea is because Andrea was telling a story. So how Josh cheated on her with her best friend. So he fucked her. And how about he goes to a college in what, San Diego, I think it is? Okay, yeah, what do college boys do? That's what I thought. And she would always tell stories about how Josh would call her fat. And you know that, you know, Andrea's already bulimic. So in her sick, twisted mind, even though she's a fucking twig, she's going to believe him and make herself throw up even more. So he's no good to her, like, for her for that. And he would just, like, he would just, all the stuff, stories that she told us about Josh were just about him treating her really bad. So that's why we all don't like him, especially Cordelia, because Cordelia was Andrea's friend. I don't know why the hell Cordelia was playing so jealous when Josh came. Because just last week, you're sitting there bitching about her saying you don't want to be her friend, but now you want to be all, all in her coochie all of a sudden again? It's like, what? I think Cordelia just wanted the attention. She's an attention whore. Tisha was 100% right when she made that metaphor about Cordelia being in a bar. It's a temptation that you cannot resist. And as Andrea is supposed to be Cordelia's friend, you took the responsibility of saying, hey, you know what? I'll help look out for you. I'm not gonna drink. But she was too busy paying attention, trying to get laid, because you know her man's in town, which you know you can't blame her because it's her dude. But she put Cordelia in that environment where she knows that Cordelia cannot control herself. Just like Tisha said she couldn't control herself with chocolate. I can't blame her. I can't control myself either. So the first time that we spied on Josh and Andrea, it was very disgusting. The whole point of a spying was like, God, Andrea is so monotone. I wonder if she, this bitch can make like hit a high note or make any noises, see what she, she sounds like. Because we're bored. So Darlene and I and Cordelia go up there. And what we see is so disgusting. We see Andrea with her legs spread open and then Josh's face looks like it just fell on her crotch. And he looked like one of those lizards that are trying to lick his eye like, but it was trying to go to hurt. It was just slow and boring and monotony. It was just the worst ever. And that's why we screamed, because we're like, ah! We saw, we saw his tongue like go back and forth. It was extra slow. It was just so gross. We're like, ew! Here's what the fuck he's doing, and it's so nasty because her legs are totally spread open and his face is so in there. So after the first time, Tanisha came and yelled at me and Darlene and said, you guys are immature, leave them alone, let them have the romantic time. Me and Darlene weren't having it. We were curious. It was, it's like watching animal porn or a bad accident, you know? You just, you just gotta look. And so uh, Josh started talking shit to Darlene, and Darlene was like, F you, and ripped the towel off of him. And then we saw his, like, saggy, doggy balls with hair on it and that's when I screamed ew I saw his penis and I really hope for Andre's sake that he's a grower because obviously he ain't no shower and then the third time Darlene just grabs the popcorn from me and she sits down on the ground pops into the room and they were trying to get it on again she starts eating popcorn and I am laughing my ass off because I can't help it because she's acting like it was a movie and then that's when Andrea got so effing fed up and she like, she's like, you guys are disrespectful. You're rude to my guest, blah, blah, blah. And she chased us around the house and we were running and we were running so fast that we fell and we broke the candy jar. And see, she didn't have that. She didn't like that one bit. So she took the belt and threatened to whoop us. But me and Darlene secretly high-fived each other on our good work, like, yeah, good job. Cordelia has every right to hate Josh. He does, he looks like he only speaks douche. So she's right about that. He looks like he was resting in a corpse before he got to the house, all pale, sick, with dark circles, eat some food. And that night when they go out, not only did he try to hit on Cordelia and recruit her for a threesome, he disappeared for like 30 minutes, like ditching Andrea, and he was flirting with girls right in front of Andrea. Cordelia does get dicked over by all her friends that she lets in. First it was that trash can dog bitch, Genevieve, and now you know it's Andrea. But you know what, when I, the blog isn't even that bad. It's just her letting, her feelings out, I guess, to help sort out her thoughts. That's her word, hippie way of thinking or doing stuff, I guess, but whatever. But you know, I'm in for a good show, so if everyone's mad, I'm just gonna sit back and watch. That's it for this week's episode of Bad Girls Club. Make sure you stay tuned for next week where we find out the conclusion of what happened with Andrea's blog, and then we all go to the saddle ranch.